happy Sunday, everybody. By the way, I'm sorry about the few seconds of initial silence, except I've noticed on a couple of the videos that if I start talking right when I hit stream, it doesn't take it, it cuts off, which is probably just a, I assume a lag when it starts up, so. Happy Sunday, sorry, Saturday, not Sunday, Saturday, 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 it's happy Saturday. You can see that I now have a new We'll Be Right Back animation going which is not going to be what's going to be what it's not going to be what sits here at the beginning typically but i don't have the starting soon animation ready to go yet but I'll, I'll probably just have a static image of that for a while until i get the other thing done but i didn't have it done in time i spent a lot of time working on this not that so but at least you get to see it i like it a lot better it's got some motion to it you know it's got a little bit of life to it that the previous version did not have so I'm happy I've got that there, but it will be replaced. It will go away, or sorry, it won't be replaced. This will actually be a be right back animation if I need it. The starting soon one will say starting soon and it will be something else. But like I said, for the moment, that's probably gonna be a placeholder. So, uh, but you get to see it, it's nice looking. So at least it's there and you get to look at it. And then at some point it will, I don't know, the starting soon one might not be drastically different. It might be something similar, but with a more starting soon, you know, accuracy to it. So I'm just posting that I'm doing the stream in a couple of places. And then we'll be ready to go. So welcome to the weekend. If it's, well, for, for, those, for those who the weekend is just starting for. I'm not sure that was really good English. But yes, it is Saturday, early morning here. And figured we'll do a little bit of an art stream because I haven't done that in a few days. And yeah, we'll try to get that. I think I can, maybe, I say this a lot. So, you know, you'd be forgiven for saying, oh yeah, that's what you say all the time. But I think maybe, legitimately, might be able to get the skull done. So we'll see. I think. I think. Because we're pretty far along in it. And I think at this point, it's it's a lot of small details that I believe will go faster. We'll have to just see. Okay, let me... All right, post it now everywhere there is to post. I think I have to sneeze, though, so I'm going to mute for a second just because I think I have to sneeze. Wah! Yep. Okay. All right. I'm going to get a drink of water here. This is a five minute, this animation you're seeing goes for five minutes before it resets. Which I think would, I, I really, if I'm gonna be away for more than five minutes, I would think I would just stop the stream. But you know, five minutes seemed like a good amount of time. Ooh, cold water. I love cold water. All right, let me turn my keyboard off so I do not inadvertently bump it while we're doing the uh, stream here. And Let's uh, get that in set in place. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna switch over. So I will play my starting soon thing, even though now starting soon is gonna change because I really don't know if I need a transition point. In fact, I'll just, I, I don't think I do, but anyway, let's play this since I've got it here. Actually, I will have probably something that will be a starting soon and then I'll have something that, or maybe I'll do it as starting now and then starting soon. Starting soon will be the static one that sits there for the five minutes while I'm just BSing. And then starting soon will be what, you know, before the trend. I don't know. Maybe I don't even need a transition point. Maybe I just need a starting soon thing that just sits there for the five minutes beforehand. And then I have the be right back for, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't know whether it's absolutely necessary to even have a starting soon type of thing. In any event, deliberations for another time and another place. Okay, so where are we? Yeah, I definitely think the skull is achievable in this particular session. Am I on the right layer? I am on the right layer. All right, let's get these teeth done. So same thing. So, yep, yeah, it's been a eventful last week. My mother had flown out from New York to visit, so she's been here, which is very nice because I haven't seen her since the pandemic started 
we had flown out to New York actually right, right before the pandemic. Uh, December of 2019. Then, of course, we all know what happened in the year after that when everything just ground to a halt. And so we were lucky, actually. We were very lucky because had that trip been delayed for any reason, we wouldn't have seen her since probably 2017 because we go out every other year. We go out every other year generally. That, that, that schedule has moved at times. But we try to make it out about every other year to New York because that's where my family is. And it just so happened that we, I mean, we, I, I, I remember on the news them talking about COVID in China. And I think at that point they were saying, you know, it's going to probably come over here. And well, of course that was at the point where everybody still thought, oh, we can probably minimize this. We can stop this early if we just, you know, do a couple things. And they didn't do anything. So they didn't shut any airports, whatever. At that point, I think it was still... They, I think it was showing up in Europe, but not, I mean, obviously it was in the United States. It's just that we weren't testing or picking up on it. But at that point, really, there was no indication of what was going to happen. No, I mean, not from, not in the general sense. There were people who I think early on recognized the potential of what was going to happen and tried to sound those alarms and were generally told, oh, you're worrying over nothing because... We've generally been very lucky, at least in my lifetime, as far as uh, anything like COVID. We really haven't had. And this really, again, was not a particularly, in the grand scheme of things, I'm talking about historical Black Plague, Black Death terms. This was not a very bad pandemic in that the mortality rate was not exceptionally high. If that ever comes, I don't think we're going to fare very well as a species, but... Um, in any event, we didn't know. So we flew out, right? I mean, it, almost like the Millennium Falcon getting out of the Death Star and Return of the Jedi where the flames are right behind because it was not long after we got back that everything that you couldn't fly. I mean, we were, wouldn't even think of getting on a plane at that point. So we got lucky that way. Relatively lucky in terms of, again, if we'd waited even a month, we probably wouldn't have seen my mother for uh, that way. It would have been almost five years no yeah it would have been five years because it would have been december of 2017 so it would have been nearly five years so we got lucky that way not intentionally wasn't planned just caught a break that way oh, i see a little bit of gray here that escaped me so we of course have to rectify that immediately where is that where are you oh you're there okay there we go okay where's oh i can hear through the speakers <laughs> hold on I just realized that my Mac is uh, not muted, so I'm hearing the music. Actually, you know what? I doubt you can. I doubt you can even hear that. That's so faint. So I don't really care. I'll just leave it. Right, I'm on the right layer. Yes. Okay. Just making sure. Because I'm like, what is that little sound in the background? It was the music. The music going. All right. So, oops. I'm on a racer. So yeah, that was very nice. Because I'm very, I'm very lucky. I guess I, in comparison to some people, uh, my wife's parents i get along very well with so my in-laws are very nice people that i have no issues with and they like me and my mother because my father's gone but my father was alive he got along very well with my father-in-law so i don't have the in this particular way i'm very lucky and that i don't have a lot of the issues that it seems that some people because that's sort of the the perennial joke in a lot of sitcoms and comedy stuff is that oh the nightmare in-laws i don't have that i i i'm just lucky that way i guess because i re really have never had a problem i have no issues with them whatsoever they're very nice people and we get along very well and so does the rest of my family everybody likes each other so rare case where that happens i guess i don't know if it's actually that rare if that's just a perception thing based on comedy and you know, TV programs. I don't know if that's really that rare. But maybe it is. What do I know? So, yeah, it was nice. It was very nice. Brought her back to the airport tomorrow, and she's safely arrived at home. The wonders of modern technology, where you can see when a flight has landed safely, which I'm very grateful for. It's very nice. 
It's a very nice thing to have access to. So she's back home in New York. Oh, wow, yeah. We're almost done here. Because the only thing left is this, those teeth, right? That is it. Oh, what about that? Wow. Boy, I've been working on this for so long. It's sort of weird that it's going to be done. Um, geez. So yeah, she's back home. So I drove her last night. Um, around 11 p.m. or so. I actually recorded using this same wireless setup. I recorded a show in the car as I was driving back. Sort of an experimental thing. I I've, I've had that idea for a while to do kind of a, a recording when I had a long drive. Which, you know, 40 minutes drive is for some people not considered very long, but it is for me. Because I, I don't particularly enjoy driving the way some people do. Like, Landa likes driving. I don't. Um, I mean, I don't necessarily hate it. Oh, I sh it depends on the traffic. If there's a lot of traffic, I do hate it. But I've done it. I've driven long distances because I hate flying more. So if it's, if it's be, you know, I'm trying to think of. You know what? I'm going to completely redo these teeth. I'm going to do this in a different way because I want these lines to be distinct from the ones that are. So I think what I'm going to do with these is I think I'm going to do the circular stuff. I'm going to try to do this because that, that feels like it gives more of the, the shape of the tooth to me. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Um, so I don't, I don't necessarily hate driving. It's not something that I try to avoid doing, but I don't like long drives. Like I said, if it's between that and flying, if it's if it's a relatively straightforward drive, it's not gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna drive you know up into the mountains or anything. But if it's a relatively straightforward drive, then oh geez, should I do that? I just rethought this again because I thought, okay, well, what you should do is do the circles, but have it follow behind the teeth, because see that tooth goes behind, so that gives the impression that the tooth goes in behind that. So, as is so often the case, ooh, ooh, that's a thin line. I don't know if I like that. I think what I'll do is this and this. Like topographical lines. So, yeah, I tried out recording a show because I've had that idea for a while. Of just kind of, if I know I have a bit of a drive ahead of me and some time. Of course, I never had a wireless mic like this before. That's why I've never done it up to now. I tried something a few years ago. It, it was a complete failure. Just because the only mic I had really, it, while it is a portable mic, to, to, to try to have it in the car where it wouldn't just pick up rattles because it would be, it, the way I would have had, the way I, I mounted it, I realized the vibrations of the car would be picked up so badly that there really wouldn't be a point to it. So um, yeah, gave up on that pretty pretty quickly. Managed to do it last night. Took the took the wireless stuff with me. Um, we'll have to see what the sound looks like on it. I haven't actually listened to it yet. The sound from the from not from the car vibrations. I'm not worried about that this time. But the ambient noise of driving in the car on a highway might might make it unlistenable. I just don't know. And I don't really know if it's actually something people would want to listen to. But it was a nice proof of concept, if nothing else. You know, just to see how it would work. Uh, the other thing I was really kind of trying to judge, because I can, I, I think I'm a, I can pretty objectively get an idea of whether I'm being distracted or not. That was the other thing is, okay, is this actually distracting me while I'm driving? Because I don't want to be unsafe. That I do not want to be a person who is, you know, I don't text while driving. I barely even look at my smartwatch while driving, um, unless it's. You know, I'll, I'll, I have a thing, so I know if it's like an important alert. But other than that, I really don't because way, way too many people drive distractedly. I think distractedly is a word. And I don't want to be one of those people. <clears throat> but it worked pretty well, I think. Like I said, we'll see. I don't know if I'm actually going to release that episode or not. Uh, I'll listen to it. And if the noise, if the noise is terrible on it, I probably won't. Um, otherwise, I might. Just do it as a special one-off or something. On the road with Joe or something like that. Okay, I think we're good here. I think I think we're finally... Now, here's the trick. What are we doing with this? I think what I want to do with these... I don't want to get rid of them entirely. I don't think I want to get rid of these lines. But I think I want to make them more... 
meaningful. And, and what I mean by that is, oh, no, wrong, wrong layer, wrong layer. Where's the, there it is. Instead of just putting them everywhere, which is what I kind of did, I think I want to be more selective in their usage. So something, whoops, I don't quite erase that. Let me move, let me move this down a little bit. There we go. So something more like where it's it's indicating the shading parts. I don't I'm explaining that wrong. But see where I wanted to more emphasize the dark areas to, and have a kind of a national or national natural a natural kind of boundary in place. So something like like this maybe. So see how it's got you know there's this let me use the pen here. So there's this kind of general arc to the shadows on the skull, which I just drew there. I don't know if it's easy to see that. Let me use a different pen. Let me use a, a paintbrush. So kind of the, the arc of the skull's topography, kind of like that. I think what I want to do is with that, have the lines be meant for that, to out, that kind of general outline, as opposed to just being everywhere like they are now. Because they just feel like filler, honestly. Like this is way too much. This is way, way too many lines. Jack, let me jump that. I do not like that. That's that's going away. So I think, yeah, this is all going away. Something like this. Maybe move that down. Where it just kind of naturally just tapers off once it gets into the what I'll call the whiter parts of the skull. I think that makes more sense. Because otherwise it was just getting to be a little bit of overload. Even like that, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Or, uh, you know what? Um, let's do... Let's do this. Let's take out some of these two, I guess. I don't necessarily love these either. So let's take out those. I'll leave those crease lines around the eyes. So we'll take this out. Yeah, I could just mask these in case I wanted to bring them back, but I would just redraw them. Whatever, I don't care. I'm doing destructive editing again. There are people who would be, Ah, don't do that! I don't care. It's fine. I can always redraw it. I, I like that. I think that gives the, the lines meaning, the little squales meaning. Um, I think that's a far better usage of those lines. Oh, you know what? I just realized I have them down here, though, so I have to get rid of them off there. Because I basically, I did that with the, with the rings, so I accomplished that already. Did I put any in here? Let me turn the, um, these, oh, not that. Where are the other rings? Oh, I did the rings and parts. Oh, right, because there's two different types of rings. But honestly, I might as well just combine these. They're all rings. Where are those from? Where are those things? What teeth? What? Where are those lines? Oh, jeez. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Well, I don't really need them. I'm just curious where I put those lines now. Uh, let's undo the, the... I don't have to undo merge down. Okay. Where are those other lines? It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Or there. Wait. No. Or there. Or there. Where are these lines? Where did I put these lines? Are they black? No. What? What did I do here? Wait a minute. That makes no sense. How can they not be... Okay, they're definitely in here. Not sockets, not skull. They're not teeth. There's the, okay, there's rings. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know why I thought that didn't do that. Okay, no, we're okay, so we should merge that down. There, okay, now we're, we're geez, I was throwing myself off. I was really throwing myself off. Okay, so let's turn the rings off. Ah, what, there's still ones there. Oh, I did that. Okay, I know what I did. That's no problem. What we're going to do is... I do this once in a while. This is... This is... Uh, sadly not uncommon for me. Oh, wait. I've got two of them. Hold on. I have to turn one of them off and leave one of them on. There we go. So what I need to do is go in... This is... This is what happens when I forget which layer I'm on. Very common for me. Because these should be rings, not... I don't want the lines and the rings to be mixed. Don't want it. I want those other squiggles to be independent of the rings in case I ever wanted to come back here and do something with them. You don't know what I'm thinking about? I shouldn't have merged those layers. Hold on. 
I should not have merged those layers. Now I know where, okay, there we go. Because I think I have light rings and dark rings, yeah. So turn dark rings off, turn light rings off. Duplicate, turn off, go here. Now we get rid of them. Now I get rid of this. Okay. That's just, this is typical. I cannot pretend this is not something I do a lot of the time. That's, that's why layers and layer naming is actually really beneficial for most people, including myself. But um, I fail to do it, as you can see, myself quite often. Now, is this a huge deal? Would it destroy the image? Oh, no, don't do that. Would it destroy the image to have these merged? No, would not. But it would bother me. And it's not clean. I prefer to do, oops, do things as cleanly as possible. Just in case I ever want to come back and do something. It's just going to make it a lot easier. If these things are all mixed together, it's more of a problem. It, it makes it tougher if you have to come back to it. Which I don't do often, but, you know, once in a while, I don't know. There may be some point where, because I really don't know what I'm going to use the skull for yet. So if there is a usage I can think of for it, it may require me to do a little bit of, okay, so that's of different editing. So these, okay, now this is the annoying part because now I gotta get rid of everything else. Cause see, I did that. So hold on, let me make sure I'm on the right one. Okay, that's, so this one, we're gonna call this small lines there. Now I know which one I'm editing correctly. This one, I gotta get rid of everything but those lines, which not, not hard, because all I got to do is kind of create a nice radius around them. And then I can go in there with the big paintbrush and erase a lot. So I just got to just kind of got to dial this part in. I just, whoa, see, that's where it's tricky. So I got to go to the smaller brush. But we're almost done here. I mean, we, we, we are done. This is this is cleanup from my sloppy layer work. But the image is actually done, which I've been talking about forever. Oh, this one, this one, I think we'll actually get it finally finished. Yeah. Said that a lot. Now I can actually mean it because I think we are pretty much done with this. At least as far as the, the base image is. Oh, I just realized I must have squiggled. I must have erased the squiggle somewhere. I'll fix that. It's no problem. That is no issue. Whoop. Careful. Okay, I think that's all the little lines I gotta worry about. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me go back to small lines. I gotta fix something. Oh, I'm not on the right layer. Hold on. Well, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Anything else? No. Nothing else. Okay. So now back to this. Let's get rid of that. Just getting rid of anything that's near those lines so I can come in with the big brush, the big eraser, really and just start wiping out anything that's not those lines. Yep, okay, here we go, big brush. All right, let's start wiping things out. This is a lot easier now because I can use a much bigger brush to just start erasing, <coughs> pardon me, something caught in my throat there, stuff that I don't need from here. Oh no, almost, almost made another mistake there. But saw them, fortunately. Yeah, see, I, I did this in a bunch of places. Really dumb really dumb luckily i didn't do it too much because if i had to do a lot of this kind of small stuff it would i'd probably just say screw it and i'd just leave it but fortunately i only did it in a couple of small spots either by luck or maybe i realized it and stopped i don't know <clears throat> maybe i realized it but realized it <clears throat> something caught my throat hold on i'm gonna clear my throat but it's gonna be really loud hold on let me mute this There we go. So I probably realized what I was doing, but didn't realize how much I had already done. That's a pretty frequent thing with me. So, okay. Yeah, now we're, now we're getting there. We just gotta get rid of these lines. Carefully though, because this is a big brush. There we go. Get rid of all that. And now all we should be left with is this stuff. And this should be pretty seamless. What, did I not finish that? Hold on. Well, I guess I didn't. Well, I'll finish it now. That's fine. So let's... Or I erased it. Oh, I erased it. You know what? That's okay. 
It's fine. You know what? We're going to redo these lines right now. It's no problem. It won't take long. Where are my... Oh, wait. Hold on. I may have accidentally erased something I didn't erase. Erase stroke. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let's put these back in. Hey, there we go. See? Didn't need to do that. We're good. Okay, so... So we'll call these, we're going to, I just want to rename these dark rings. Okay. We're going to move that down. Why is that? Oh, did I do it twice? I did. Okay. So this actually can disappear. <sighs> Wrong layer. Hold on. This actually doesn't need to be here because I must have redone it at some point. Yep. There it is. <coughs> okay. Except for that one. There's one line missing. That's really odd. But not a problem. We'll fix that right now. So, oh, actually, wait a minute. I don't have all my line work turned on. Yeah, that's what. Um, uh, I still want one there. Whoa, wrong, wrong brush. Sorry, wrong brush. That was my, here's what I'm doing brush. There we go. Yeah, all right. I'm okay with that. So. Let's check everything. This one looks good. So let's go dark rings. These are also dark rings. Wait. Oh, I don't need those either. Does it really hurt anything? No, it doesn't. So we're just going to go ahead and merge down. Merge down. And I'll erase that little thing I just did right there, which I saw. Boop, 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 boop. I don't even know what that is. Okay, there we go. So we have our dark rings. We have our small lines. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's done. It is now done. Woo! Yeah, we can call the skull finished. Amazing! <laughs> the amount of times I said, oh, we're almost done. Well, we're done now. So, okay. What else do we have? What else do we have? We have the Cthulhu guy here. Yeah, I didn't really think about what I would draw once I was done with the with the skull. We have the Cthulhu, whatever it was. Let me think about this. What else we got in here? What else do we have? Let me take a look. I didn't really plan well for this because I didn't think about what to do once I was done. Which I guess I should have because I finished it. Oh, you know, we can do the mushrooms. We can do the Dr. Shroom. Um, yeah, we could do that. As Actually, as a, little, as a little preview, this is what's going to be the kind of starting, starting soon or whatever we want to call it. So whereas before, it's, that was basically an animation thing that I, that I took and I modified. This is going to be the same idea. Although I just realized... I didn't invert the lines. Huh. I didn't invert the... Uh. That was stupid. I didn't invert the things. Huh. I. Why did I not think about that? I didn't invert the lines. You know what? I'll figure that out. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's draw at least some of the mushroom stuff. Let's do some mushroom stuff. Because otherwise, if I get if I get caught up in the fact that I didn't invert those lines, it's just going to bother me because I did a lot of... I put a lot of work into the other thing, and I really don't want to think about the fact that I didn't invert the lines. So I'm not going to at this particular time. Let's just do fun stuff and not think about the stupid mistake that I now realize I did. It, it probably doesn't matter anyway. It, it, I don't think it's going to have a large bearing on it. All right, so let's see. What line are we at? Oh, no, we need a bigger brush than that. For this, we need a bigger brush. Let's go to maybe 10 or thicker. Um, nope, that's still not. You know what? I think I'm just going to jump up to the, the bigger pen. Yep, that's better. What's What size is this at? 10, okay. 10 on this brush is a much thicker brush. It, start, it starts at a thicker level, so let's see. All right, let's... Let's, where's Dr. Doom's head? Is that this? Yeah, it is. Let's start with the, the background mushrooms. Uh, 
let's go ahead, yeah, and let's do a, we'll do a drawing guide of a symmetrical, do the symmetry thing here. And we'll just angle that. And let's, let's put that right about there. Okay. Does that angle look right? Kind of does. Okay. So let's draw our first mushroom here. Where do we want to start this? Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? There we are. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Mm. Mm. I'm not a fan of that. Let me try this. Let's just do this. Almost. Try and do like a nice continuous curve. And then have it. Yeah, that's better. I can live with that. And then just join it here. See, the top is the tricky bit because you don't want to have a, a lip to it. Ooh, boy, those are some ripply lines. Okay, no, we're not, we're not sticking with that. That's got to go. Come on. Oh, paint. I was on calligraphy. I was like, why is that? What is... Ah, jeez. Paint. There we go. Boy, oh, boy. I can't blame anybody but myself for that, though. Okay, no, no. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did the thing move? Come on. Are you fighting me now? Are you fighting me now, Jerome? <sighs> Not digging it. We gotta redo the whole thing. Okay, hold on. All right. Okay, gotta get the arc right. Here we go. It does not always. No, 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 no. That's completely bad. Completely bad. Does not always come easy. I know in my head what I want it to be. It's trying to get there in in the actuality of it. So let's try it this way. All right, that's better. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I can, I can, I can work with that. That felt like it was a much. Yeah, I don't mind the ripples in that so much because I feel like the arc is good. So we'll just seal that. Don't need those. And we'll just bring this down to a close right there. Yeah, that I can live with. That's okay. That that I am all right with. All right, let's do another layer. We'll do an assist on this one as well, since we already have our thing here. This will be a lot easier because I can go off the page, essentially, into the thing, because I can erase it. So this, I can just go whoop. Yeah, not that. That doesn't, that doesn't have the right shape. Did that one too quick, but it's nice to just be able to do that. And then at the bottom, it's not rounded enough. I want it to be a rounded bottom, not a flat bottom. So we'll do this. Here we are. No, it's still not rounded. It's got to get the arc right. Okay, that's there. That that can work. So we take this off, and then we just round the bottom. Yep, there we go. That I'm good with. That is a nice rounded bottom of a mushroom. I like that. Okay. Where are we at time-wise? Oh, no, I still have a little time. Let's go ahead and edit our drawing guide by moving it and reframing. That is not quite where I need it to be. So let's zoom in here. Let's get that right about there. Okay. Oh, that doesn't look right to me either, though, because the bottom's not... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Let's do a drawing assist on that. And again, the trick is to this, to, to round the top. You can see the the top is pointed there, which I don't want, so. Ugh. Well, that was awful right off the bat. There we are, better, better. And then we'll just go ahead and round this off. Okay, hold on, let me, let me get that to round correctly. Oh, nice rounding. Oh, there we go. That's a good, that's a good sealed end. That's actually really good. Happy with that. Happy with that. Just join that up. Ooh, no, no, no. That's not seamless at all. Yeah, it's, that's a tricky bit when you don't do it all continuous. Some people can do continuous lines like that really smooth, but I typically can't. So I have to kind of do these bridging. Oh, that did not flatten at all. 
That's all right. I'll figure it out. I'll get it. I'll get it where it needs to be. It takes a little work. Nothing wrong with that. See, I keep... No, dude, let me try this. Here we are. That's fine. I can live with that. Let's do another layer. Do an assist on that layer. And we'll do the same thing here. Whoop. Fix the bottom, which always curves inwards for some reason. Just always my natural instinct is to curve inwards. I don't know. As opposed to downwards. Or upwards, I guess, instead of downwards. There we go. Okay. Two mushroom, two mushrooms down. Now we need a third stem for the uh, the good doctor. We will do a reset of the guide because that's a dead center one. We're already on an assist thing here. So we will... Oh, where'd that come from? Hold on. Right there. Goodbye. Okay. All right, let's get this one done. Then we'll probably do... Yeah, we'll do the rings, and then I might wrap this one up. So this stream, I mean. So let's bring this. Now, these are behind, so I'm not too worried about those. Ah, oh, man, I did. You can see it right there. I arced upwards. I don't know why I do that. I'm going to make the stem taller because you're not going to see much of this anyway. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. There we go. Okay. Better. Better. Because this, I do want this one to have the flat bottom to it. Because this is going to end up being the Dr. Shroom one. So this one is okay having a flatter bottom. As opposed to the more rounded bottoms of the other ones. All right. So now let's do the rings. Which we'll put here. And I don't need the guide for that, because this is just rings. These are okay. So we will do this one first. Actually, should I make... No. Inner ring is the same size. Inner ring will be the same size. Outer ring will be a thicker line. This is one great thing about Procreate, is this miserable circle I'm drawing. If I were doing this on paper, I'd be using a compass. So I'm not going to pretend I can draw a perfect circle at this size. I can't. I'm not going to pretend that I can. I'm, I'm sure people, there are people out there who can. I am not one of them. So I am very happy for the assistive. Wait, did I have that actually centered? Hold on. Let's see. Uh, where's the golden line? I saw it. Okay, there it is. Okay, we're good. All right, now on the outside, I do want a thicker line, so I'm going to go to maybe 20. Let's take a look. Uh, maybe 25. 25%, which has got to be one of the bigger brushes I've ever used. <clears throat> Let's do another line. So we'll follow this one on the outside. Jeez, I don't even know if that's bold enough. I don't think it is. I think I got a little 30. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm happy with 30. And again, I don't have to worry too much about making a perfect circle. Because there's no... Jeez, that's a terrible circle. Okay, let's make that an actual circle. Thank you, Procreate, for assisting me in making, you know, an actual circle. <laughs> As opposed to whatever that would have been called before. There we go. Nice, nice two set of circles. Knock that back down to ten. Okay. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. Mushrooms are started. Our Dr. Shroom mushrooms are started. Okay. I think I'll continue that on the next one. So that will bring this particular session, stream, whatever we're calling it, to a close. And again, a very nice Saturday. I keep thinking it's Sunday. It's not Sunday. It's Saturday. So on this Saturday morning here in Northern California, taking a drink of water. Mm -mm -mm. So... Wherever you are, whenever you are, hopefully your weekend is going well and is just starting off so that you have plenty of it left. But whatever and wherever you may be, hopefully you have a good rest of whatever it is for you. And thanks for stopping by and checking out the stream or watching this later on YouTube if that's what you're doing. 
doesn't matter to me either way. As long as you're enjoying seeing, well, I don't know if enjoying would be the right word based on some of the stuff I was doing in this stream, but hopefully this is entertaining at the very... Yeah, wait a minute. That's, that circle doesn't look even. Hold on a second. I think this one is not centered. Let me see. No, it's not. Hold on a minute. Let me center this. That's centered that way. Okay, is that centered? I just noticed it looking at the screen. No, it still doesn't look, it doesn't look even top to bottom. Oh, wait, wait. Nope, that's definitely too far down. Hold on. Yeah, this is, this is one of the great annoyances is spacing. Okay, wait, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yes, that's centered. Sorry, saw it on the screen, had to fix it. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and checking out either the stream live or the video after the fact. Hopefully this does provide a little bit of, oh, just draw stuff because you're going to make mistakes. You're going to screw things up or realize you didn't invert a line that you meant to do the whole time inverted. And now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get myself out of that jam. Yikes. Actually, you know what? I know how I'll get myself out of that jam. I just figured it out. It won't be a big deal. So that's a huge relief. In any event, yeah, go out there draw something, and take care. See you next time.